Hi there. Read any good books lately? This book is one of my favorites. To Grill a Mockingbird. It's a classic, just like me. You may not know this, but I'm a big fan of reading. In fact, I try to devour a book at least once a week. Next to eating, reading is the best thing you can do to fill yourself up. Isn't that right, Senator? That's right, Garfield. And from the look of things, you've devoured quite a few good books. Reading is fun, and it's food for your brain. You can read to learn, read for enjoyment, or just read to pass the time. And Garfield, we know you're excited about reading. But here's another friend of ours who thinks reading is fun, too. He's someone you just might know. He's Jim Davis, your creator. Huh. Never heard of him. Oh, hi, Garfield. And thanks, Senator Levis. You know, reading is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. When I was a kid, I used to read all the time. I especially enjoyed adventures about faraway places. One of my favorite books uh, was A Call of the Wild by Jack London. Today, when kids ask me what it takes to be a cartoonist, I always say, lots and lots of reading. With so many topics to choose from, reading opens up a whole world of fun and information. It really wakes up your imagination. Reading is just plain fun. Well, back to the drawing board. Thanks for having me, Senator. Our pleasure, Jim. Here's another friend of ours, WBNG-TV news anchor Candace Chapman. Candace helps our community learn what's happening around the world, throughout New York State, and across the southern tier on Action News. And reading is a big part of her job. Thank you, Senator. Reading is the key part of my job. I not only read news stories on Action News, I also write stories. And to help me, I read a lot of information on press releases, in newspapers, and on the internet. Reading helps me understand the story so I can explain it to the people who watch the news. Reading not only gives you knowledge, it's also fun. Reading books will help you use your imagination and be more creative. That's why I read every day. Back to you, Senator Libis. Thank you, Candace. Here's someone who's a great friend to us and to kids everywhere. It's D.A.R.E. Police Officer Laura Ellis. Officer Ellis teaches kids about the dangers of drugs and alcohol when she visits school classes throughout our community. She may have visited your class. Thanks, Senator Tom. As a deputy with the Sheriff's Office, I travel to all the local schools and I teach the D.A.R.E. program, where the kids and I read through the D.A.R.E. workbook about the harmful effects of drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. Right now, the kids are using this D.A.R.E. workbook where they're reading to each other. So whether it's out on the street fighting crime or in the classroom with the D.A.R.E. program, reading is always very, very important. Thanks, and back to you, Senator Tom. Do you play sports? Baseball, field hockey, volleyball? If you do, your library has a lot of books about sports that tell great stories. The Binghamton Senators are professional hockey players who play in the American Hockey League. Their team is filled with some of the finest athletes. And when they're not on the ice, Guess what they do? That's right, they read. Thanks, Senator Libis. Reading is important in our profession. During long road trips, I like to read a novel to pass the time. Personally, I like to wake up in the morning and read the newspaper. It gives me a great chance to keep up on current events and also check on how teams are doing around the league. Reading is fun for everyone. Time to get back to work. Thanks a lot. But it's not just American Hockey League players who spend their time reading. Professional baseball players have a lot of time to read when they travel between games. Hi kids, how you doing? My name is Tim McNabb and I'm a pitcher for the Binghamton Mets. And I'm here to tell you that reading is fun. And I'm telling you reading is also important. Important to us as ball players, and it's important also in my off-season job because I'm a teacher. We use reading every single day in baseball. We read for pleasure, we have to read statistics, we gotta read the newspapers, we do all that. So I'm here to tell you it's fun, and keep going for it. Well, there you have it, Garfield. Lots of people think reading is fun. Well then, I guess humans are smarter than I thought. I'm off to get another book. Really? Yeah, I'm finished with this one. I think I'll try another classic. The Great Catsby. I just love books about cats. Thank you, Garfield. And thank you. If you're looking for some fun, grab a book. And don't forget to take advantage of Books, our special program that rewards you for the amount of time you spend reading. You can win great prizes and learn while you're doing it. Discover more about the Books program by visiting us online at booksprogram.com 
or you can ask your local school or public librarian. Books, it makes reading fun.